Hi there and welcome to this Metasploit Extreme on Kali Linux. My name is Hitesh and I'll be your course instructor. In this video we will look at about the terminologies and the requirement to start up this series. Yes, the requirement is there but there is no technical requirements for this series. I'll be starting from the very scratch but there are some tools, software and operating system that you are going to need to start up this series. But before any of that, let's take up the terminologies because it's really a good thing to actually understand my language. I'll be talking in the variety of technical terms in this entire series and if you'll not be sure about those technical terms or if you will not understand the exact meaning or what I want to point out with those technical terms it would be really tough to get into the series with me. So let's start with that and to actually understand these things let us put up a non-virtual scenario. Let us get away from the computer world and gets into the real world to actually understand this particular terminologies. So let's say you have got a nice home at the first floor, there is apartment and you have got 16 doors. Now 16 is quite a good number, you have got a very good apartment out there. So you have got 16 doors and suddenly you got a call that, hey Hitesh, there is some urgent work out there and you need to come here. So what Hitesh is going to do, he'll make sure that all of the 16 doors are locked properly. So I locked up all the doors and went out to the meeting but I really forgot that one of my window was left open and really it's a great thing that I have left my window open so I'm inviting some of the thieves and all uh, related bugglers to actually get into my apartment. So this is actually a vulnerability that I have left in my apartment. I hope you got the term what is actually this vulnerability. Now this information was leaked out into the market and it was said that there is an apartment out there in the first floor and somebody has left a window panel open in that particular apartment. Now a person or the thief or burglar is actually the exploit out there who can take advantage of this particular information. So he decided that he is going to jump into my apartment and will try to uh, get some of the valuables out of my apartment. Now how is actually going to reach out at the first floor? So definitely he's going to use some ladders or some cranes or he can be Superman as well. So that is actually the payload. The thing that is assisting after knowing the exploitation uh, or the after knowing the vulnerability of the particular system, the thing that is supporting to get out of the valuable information is actually the payload and really lastly the shell code. To understand the shell code let's put up a very simple virtual scenario in the computer world. Suppose I have hacked into a system which has got a Windows 7 machine out there and I really want to perform some administrative task out there to change the password or to get some credit card information or like that. So I really want a shell that is command prompt out of that system into my box. So what I'm going to do I'll write some of the codes of the shell codes and I'll put out there in my machine and will get a connectivity. Now it's really a kind of a scenario out there and I hope you understand this bit. I really just want to type some commands and that commands should be performed or should be executed on the victim machine. That's all about the shell code. Take it right now that shell code is that much only. Later on we will explore these terms in a much better scenario or much greater depth but for now this is quite a enough one. So I hope you have understood what are the technical terms and how to actually play out with the scenario according with me. Later on we will explore more out of these terms and all these things but I'll make sure that you don't have to actually need to write any of those codes. So don't just scared of it. Apart from that we are going to need a couple of things to actually start this Metasploit Extreme on Kali Linux. First of all as guest we will require a Kali Linux ISO image. Out of that we are going to need a virtual box or virtual player but I would really prefer a virtual player version. It's really easy and I'll be using it on my demonstration purpose but virtual box is fine too. After that we are going to need a Metasploitable that is version 2 and in just a moment I'm going to show you where actually to get all these stuffs from and finally we are going to need a couple of windows. We are going to need a various version of, of Windows XP using, uh, we will be using Windows XP Service Pack 0, Service Pack 2, 
some server edition you can get any like 2000 or 2003 we will be using windows 7 and ubuntu versions as well so it's going to be a great series not like just that there is a target machine there's a attacker machine and just hacking into the particular one system we'll be using a variety of things out there so that we can actually understand how powerful is this metasploitable now let's move on to the things how we actually are going to need them so first thing that we are going to require is actually the Kali Linux this is the URL from where you can get www.kali.org slash downloads and in that you will find uh, there is actually 64 bit and 32 bit I'll prefer a 32 bit because we are going to install it in the virtual player and you can get the direct ISO as a direct download or you can download via a torrent client choice is yours and apart from that we are going to need virtual player and this is quite a lengthy URL my.vmware.com just type out on the Google and search out VM player or once you reach the website just go to this downloading section and here in the free product you will find the player or uh, you can simply write down the complete URL as well I hope it is visible and you can simply download any of that just with this download button you can also use the Oracle VirtualBox here is the download link for that virtualbox.org slash wiki slash download here is the download button and you can download according to what system you are going to use I'll be there on the Windows 7 for the entire series and finally we are going to need metasploitable and this is the link on the sourceforge.net slash project slash metasploitable you can get a metasploit metasploitable and metasploit metasploitable is actually a already prepared vulnerable machine on which you can perform a variety of vulnerability testing and nobody is there to claim hey you have done something wrong to this so this is really an idle machine to start up on the metasploit and I really cannot tell you from where to get Windows XP and all those I hope you can arrange them and you are quite good enough in that uh, but I can show you the link for the Ubuntu ubuntu.com slash downloads and get a copy of Ubuntu because we are going to perform some stuffs on the Ubuntu as well so I hope everything is pretty much clear to you and you will be able to get all these stuffs now no need to get worry how we are going to use them or how we are going to configure that I'll make all the separate videos for each of those stuffs. So just get this stuff and be ready for the next video. Thank you so much for watching and keep enjoying the Metasploit stuff on Kali Linux.